Factory Talk Matrix is licensed by WorkCell and has offers unlimited events. So let's configure a couple of events. Let's drill through to our WorkCell G2. Select Configure. Click on the Event tab. And if you didn't notice, uh, we're not, we didn't really set up state on this. So the first event we're going to do is we're going to set up an event called Running that will uh, change the machine into a state of running. We'll enable this event. We'll select any time the bit changes, make this change. We'll reuse our uh, running bit, and this is when it changes from low to high. So when the run bit uh, is 1, we will assume the machine is in a run state. We'll click on machine state faults. We'll simply check the box saying that when this is available or when this is on, when this is true, it'll be in a run mode. And then we'll make one small change here for reporting. We'll make it very level 100. We'll click OK. Now we'll go in and most people would add a fault. So we will add uh, just a generic fault. Enable. We'll again select any time uh, this event is active. We'd like to record it when it goes from low to high. Notice you could have a transition that's from high to low being on as well. A selection. In this case we will select uh, how about a blower stop? And that's our Boolean bit that's either off or on. We'll then select it, say that it's a fault when it comes on. We'll check the box and say we'd even like it to toggle the faulted state. And under reporting, we'll select zero for a severity level. Click OK. Uh, another option that you could do is that if you had an event from another work cell that you wanted to copy in, you could go in and say, I would like to have an oil failure. Event, click OK. Notice how it pops it in even with all, it's exactly the same. So I'd show that option. Apply, OK. We hit close on the configuration. Now notice it's the same work cell and now we actually detect that we're in a running state and we show the event here as well.